Well, here's Peter from Madre Tierra, and uh, just wanted to introduce Bill Smith today. Uh, one of the things that I really like about this business that we're in is being able to meet a lot of different people from uh, different parts of the world, different walks of life. And uh, Bill is an author from Michigan. And Bill, I'd like to give you the chance to say something about your book. Well, thanks. <laughs> thanks, Peter, and thanks for being great hosts. We've really enjoyed being down here. The food, the guests, and the birds. My book is called Chickadees at Night, and uh, they're one of my favorite birds because up north where I live, they don't come down here for the winter. They stay where they belong <laughs> with us uh, toughing out the winter, and so this is kind of a homage to chickadees. It, it's a children's bedtime flight of fancy that uh, but chickadee spirits of all ages have enjoyed it and uh, so we're gonna leave a copy down here as a thank you for the wonderful stay we've had so uh, we also are here because we've heard the heard all those legends about how the fountain of youth is around here and people live a little longer and it's really worked with us um, I'm 104 years old, and um, I looked a lot older uh, a few days ago. So <laughs> I, I really appreciate that aspect of vacation here, too. <laughs> Absolutely. Many people uh, report the same thing, and uh, I'm not doing bad for 86. But um, So you stayed here at Madre Terra. You were in the owner's suite, uh, also known as number 15. Um, how was your uh, your uh, how were your accommodations? I think our favorite uh, part of the accommodations was the balcony. Out on the balcony, we just spent hours. We played cards, we read, we looked at the beautiful view out over the mountains and the valley. But then the room itself is very spacious, and uh, everything works, even though it's South America. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we couldn't uh, we couldn't have been happier with the room. It really was very nice. And the windows, one thing, the windows were open. Some have screens, but we left doors open. Never had a bug problem. I mean, it was just it was just very pleasant throughout. The temperature was right. The, the atmosphere was perfect. Right on. Yeah. And uh, did you get some time in the spa? I think we did. I in fact got my first uh, ever, after decades and decades of life, pedicure. <laughs> and it was excellent. It was excellent. Uh, my feet, which aren't the handsomest feet in the world, uh, looked looked a lot better and felt a lot better. So that was kind of cool. I might do that. I'll have to, f but it's much less expensive down here than it is up north. So I'll need to fly down here to Ecuador to get my pedicures now. And we both got a massage, too, that was also very nice. And Donna got a facial, so, um, yeah, very reasonable, very nice. Plus, my view was out over the mountains again, and there was a huge spider up in the window, just every now and then grabbing this, grabbing that. And uh, so you get these little nature bonuses while you're here, too. And uh, yeah, if you're seeing over the mountain, that's the view from which you get your pedicure down here at Madre Tierra. <laughs> well, Bill, you're doing great. Thank you very much. Um, and you were here with us, I think, four nights or so. And um, this is at the end of your time in Ecuador. So I guess Donna was saying, uh, which I, I, I love hearing this, but people hate to leave so <laughs> yeah. well you know I'm writing a new book and um, it's about chickadees and they throw this huge party for the whole forest nation but at the end of it the last two lines um, they build a dome for everyone to come and uh, all the forest animals to have a party in but the last two lines are everyone knows in the chickadee dome that part of the joy is the going home so we had a great time and we're ready to go home. Thanks for asking.